Hello, I'm Gigi, and I want to welcome you to Gigi's Magic Mailbox, a place where we have lots of fun, get mailbox surprises, and read great stories. And today's a special day because we're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I think for that we should have a change of scenery, don't you? Oh, that's much better. And look, a leprechaun's hat. How fun! Did you hear that? That means something has just arrived in the magic mailbox. Let's see what it is. Ah, this is the perfect book for St. Patrick's Day. How to Catch a Leprechaun. This is such a fun story. If you have your own copy, go grab it and you can read along. All right, let's get started. How to Catch a Leprechaun How to Catch a Leprechaun was written by Adam Wallace and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. I just love to hear that magic mailbox sound. Let's find out what's in it. Feels like a bunch of things. Oh, look at this. The magic mailbox brought us some gold coins. Oh, I can't even hold them all. That's fun. And I don't know if you can see it, but they have a clover on them. Not a four leaf clover, which is supposed to bring you luck, but a little three leaf clover. And on this side is a pot of gold. Oh, I wish we could find a leprechaun and get that pot of gold, don't you? Well, let's see what happens in the story. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. There's our favorite sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. are called St. Patrick's Day Sticky Mustaches. They have all kinds of silly mustaches that you can wear. Do you think I should try one on and see what it looks like? Uh, I think I'll do this one. All right, let's see. Oh, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> oh I think I have to peel it off maybe to make it stick better. I don't know. Never worn a sticky mustache before. Well, I might just have to hold it up. Oh, here we go. I got it. All right, let's see. Huh. What do you think? Do I look like a leprechaun now? <laughs> it sure does feel funny. <laughs> well, I'll have to let my grandkids play with the rest of these. Let's get back to the story. Another house. I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. There we go again. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, a little tea kettle. 
a tiny little plate. Oh, what else? A little bitty cup and the lid. <laughs> that was funny how they set up a dandelion tea trap for the leprechaun. It sure didn't fool him though, did it? Do you ever play tea party? We like to play it here at Gigi's house. We play it with stuffed animals and each other and we just have a grand old time. It's always so much fun. Well, let's see what else they do to that leprechaun as they try to catch him. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever. But I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. <laughs> now you're getting fancy. But I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare, but without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. Did you hear that? Oh, I can't wait to see what the magic mailbox brought us this time. A four-leaf clover. The magic mailbox brought us some good luck. Oh, I hope it helps us catch that leprechaun, don't you? Well, let's find out. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. The end. Thank you for joining me today to read How to Catch a Leprechaun. I just love this book. It's so silly and it's colorful and fun. Make sure you watch to the end so you can see two of my grandchildren trying to catch a leprechaun. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out to keep bringing you more videos and great stories. Have a great day and see you soon. What do you want to find today? A leprechaun! Sneak. Here, tiptoe. Here we go. Sneak. Gotta sneak. Gotta go nice and slow. Oh, is he in the slide? Go. No, this one. Oh, go see. Sneak. 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 I found him. You found him? Yeah! Oh. Get him, Daisy! Get him! Get that leprechaun! <laughs> All right, look behind the trees. What about over here? Could there be a pot of gold and a leprechaun over here? Over here. Let's see. No, it's a little green man that has a pot of gold. Do you see him? I did not see him. You don't see him? Go around the other side. Oh. Back, back. Is what he in is there? there? Do you see him, Ryder? Hey, I don't know. I don't think he's in the tree. Where else could he be? <laughs> oh, he's in that tree? All right, look. You got to be fast. Those little leprechauns are fast. I I help Do you see him? Nope. Oh, he must have gone down too fast. <laughs> He's really fast. Okay, go find him. Say hello, leprechaun. <laughs>